I'm back. Um, I'm actually recording, I've got to be honest with you, uh, I'm recording this video because um, Luna's gone into um, surgery this morning. Uh, those of you who don't know, I've got a miniature schnauzer, probably cut to a photo, absolutely adorable little monkey, and she developed a cataract. Uh, and it's 10.40 and she should be out in a few moments. So that was the actual real reason for making this video, was to try and keep me entertained and yeah, keep me entertained, but fuck it, I'm going to the coffee shop in a minute and I'm going to go and get wankered on coffee and I'm off to the gym until I hurt and then maybe I'll do a bit more just to keep my mind off things. Anyway, sorry, I fucking offload a load of emotional bollocks on you, sorry. I'm trying to keep the shit together. Right, dart three, so six, three, five. Yeah, I just wanted a bigger dart. You know, um, and like like I said at the very beginning, you, you probably can't get hold of these anymore. Don't feel disappointed. I, I did. Uh, it, it, it was a known thing for me anyway that they there might be end of line, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, and to be honest, it's entirely my fault. So I don't blame anybody else other than me. Uh, and the reason being is because I had one of these a couple of years back, well, literally when they first came out. Didn't really click with it very well. Uh, and now I'm two and a half years down the line, I'm actually gone, mm, wouldn't mind revisiting it. So with that said, personally really looking forward to this one, gonna I nav it to the things, fly it to the moon and back, you know, uh, do all the stuff which you probably shouldn't do with it. Uh, but in all seriousness, is that if you can get hold of one of these, get yourself a little 250G, these are absolutely amazing. Uh, what I would do at the end of the video and probably put in the top right hand corner uh, is a link to uh, a build overview or mod video to this one. Uh, so you can actually see it flying. Genuinely, thoroughly impressed with the 250G, and, and it's the reason why I've bought the, gone back and bought the original Dart 635 is because I was so impressed with that one. Uh, I just wanted something which could potentially carry a little bit more weight, uh, and I could get a little bit more range out of it, if that makes sense for for clocking up the miles uh, in short, or the time in the sky is the is the key one here, isn't it? So yeah, there you go, that's the Dart 635. Any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section underneath this video. Uh, sorry for going off the rails a few moments ago. Like I said, that was the reason why I was making this video, was to try and keep me entertained. I hope, on that note, that this video has kept you entertained as well. Watch this space. I'll get this one loaded up, we'll get it out flying. Uh, a lot more room to play with in this one. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot more room in here uh, to definitely play with. Uh, oh, uh, just a quick idea on specifications. I will be using a quad ESC in here, uh, 30 amp, uh, race star one, and uh, I'll be using a Matek F411 flight controller, which will 99% go there. Uh, in short, the GPS puck will go on top of here. I may fish out the video transmitter onto the wing, failing that, I will do what I did with the 250G is fit the video transmitter right up here on the nose because uh, we need maximum separation material specifically between the video transmitter and the GPS unit so that's why it may go out in the wing but I'm also very wary because this is a very small model uh, and sticking a video transmitter that far out on the wing would have in this instance, detrimental effects. It's not like a mini Talon, which has got a great big wingspan, it don't really matter too much. This is a much smaller model, so I need to be very wary of things like that. Uh, definitely loading it up with Lions. I wouldn't mind actually stepping it up again, going from, if I can fit, dare I say it, five 18650s in here, so make that jump from 4S to 5S, that would be highly interesting. I also think that might require some very special configuration uh, of getting those batteries in there and hitting CG and having the video transmitter up on the lid as well. That would be a challenge, but we'll see uh, when the time comes. Uh, again, that extra cell bumps us up another uh, uh, set of 4.2 volts as well. Uh, so the motor is working less, uh, and again, we've got higher voltage, less amps for the same power output, extended flight, times again I realistically fitting 5s into a 250g is almost impossible that's 3s and I'm kind of at the limits of what you can do with this one uh, we'll see with this one it I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the window open on this one. I don't know, if I could get to 4S, I think that would definitely be a marked improvement. I will see what happens, what, how I feel with the weight of the model, uh, with the extra 50 grams or so for an extra 
18650 in here, although 4S for sure, 5S would be absolutely amazing, but we'll see when the time comes to me putting it together. Anyway, I was trying to wrap up. For myself, Matt, a big thank you to you for taking the time to join me here at the workbench to talk about your phone. If you can't get one of these, get yourself a 250G. They're absolutely amazing, and that's the reason why I've got this one. Uh, and watch this space. We'll get it out in the next week or two. So with that said, for myself, Matt, cheerios. Oh, and thank you to you for joining me here at the workbench for a chit-chat and a few slurps of coffee. And I'm sure Looney will be fine as well. Anyway, cheerios.